been seeing people do this 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 thing online and they did this in the past too but i never did it and, and now i'm seeing people do it again online on social media stuff and i was like you know what i'm in my soft guy era let's, 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 let's take this thing so people are doing this thing with the standards uh calculator right they're doing a the standards calculator on seeing do they have high expectations in a dating partner or are they are there you know are there stuff reasonable when it comes to dating so i want to do this to see what my results would be okay what percent of men in the united states meet your standards uh i think you mean women okay what percent of women in the united states meet your standards okay what kids either yes no <laughs> no how like taking care of little bastards <laughs> wrong with you age she gotta be she gotta be 18 bro 18 she gotta be fresh okay fresh because because who would look like me dating an old an old woman come on now 18 18 and up legal age of course you know 18 to 21 no, nothing else bro i only deserve the best i only deserve the best okay height she can't be nowhere near my height she gotta be like four 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 ten Five, six, because anything else is just masculine. I, don't, I ain't trying to date a man, okay? Income, she got to be making at least 250K, okay? She got to be making at least 250K, because how like how do I working, bro? How do I look like me working, bro? Like, she, she got to make sure she make the income for me, bro, because cause, cause I'm staying home cooking and cleaning, bro. Ethnicity, come on, man. Come on. She got to be Asian. Asian persuasion, bro. Hair, black. I, I, how, I'm not dating Harley Quinn. I'm not trying to date no Skittles, okay? I'm not trying to date no Skittles. Have your regular hair, bro. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Eye color, I don't really care about eye color. You, you, you do that, bro. You do that. Education, the whole got to be some type of level of degree smart, bro, okay? PDHD. Like I said, you take care of me, bro. I ain't, I ain't doing none of that. Religion, you have some type of uh, morals, bro. Nah, matter of fact, atheist. Because... Cause, the only person you should be worshiping is me. <laughs> the hell? Anyway, smoke? No. Stick it west. Like, like, no. You better have some goddamn clear throat so I can use that throat. Um, drinks? No, because the only person you probably be drunk. Nah, matter of fact, drinks. Because she need to be drunk in love with me. Marriage? No, she cannot be married because I'm I'm her prize. Okay, I can do whatever I want, but I'm her prize. A beast? Exclude obesity? Yes, because I like dating a bugle whale. Okay, let's find out. What's, what's, my, what's my calculator? Zero percent? I don't know I can meet my standards. I, I don't know I can meet my standards. I, I'm the great. No. <laughs> All right, let's take this serious now. Let's take this serious now. Don't, don't the trolling. Let's take this serious now. What up, Mahai? Let's do this. What up, what up, what up? Seriously, let's, let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out what would be my, 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 uh, what is my standards reasonable as a guy looking for a woman? Let's find out, bro. Say so you look for single moms in your area. <laughs> <Do I think? laughs> this is a calculator to see if do you have reasonable standards on what you're looking for in a partner, and they'll tell you the percentage of uh, people in the United States. United States only, okay? This is not the around the whole world. United States only. Do your standards meet any woman in the United States when it comes to? You know what you look for so let's take it serious no more trolling women when it comes to gender um kids either i, I truly don't care you know if, if she got one kid that don't bother me now if she got like four kids or something now i'm kind of weary I'm, I'm not trying to date a woman that got too many kids but if you got kids or you want kids that don't bother me. um age um legal age which is what I can't do 19. 19 too young, bro. I mean, 18 too young, bro. She got to at least be 21. She got to at least be 21. That's the youngest I'm doing. At least 21. And, um, I like my women older than me. I ain't going to lie. Let's see. I'm 25. I do. I can do like four or five older than me. I do like four or five older than me. So 30, 31. That don't bother me. 30, 31. We'll, we'll do the 21, 31 gap, you know. Um, height. She can be 14, 14 to like six feet. Since I'm, I'm six feet, so that wouldn't bother me, you know? Um, minimum income, I'm gonna be humped and honest. I don't care about how much money a woman makes. I truly don't. I truly don't. And some people may be like, 
Well, what are you trying to move in together and stuff? We moving in together. This 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 is seeing my standards based on how women catch my attention before we even start dating. Once we get in a relationship, then we can start talking about making that bread together. You know, because that's that moment we a team. We a union. We a union at that point. You know what I'm saying? So, but but like dating standards as in like the minimum she has to make in order to even be able to approach me, talk to me, or get it, even a chance to me. Zero. I don't care about the money you making. I do not care, bro. I only care about the money I'm making. <laughs> Initiative. You know what? Back then, I would have just said black. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But after after that age of persuasion I, I, arc, arc I went through, bro. After that age of persuasion arc I went through, bro. I, I, I It's any. I, I, I truly, as long as, as long as she look cute, I truly don't care. I truly do not care her, her ethnicity. But I am for my black women. I will say that. I am for my black women. Women, Black women are definitely on the top. But I truly don't care as long as she look attractive to me. Hair color. Any. I don't care. I don't care. I, woman can be dying her hair color. Any color. It does not bother me. She look cute. It does not bother me. Eye color. Don't care. None of my business. I don't care what eye, eye color you got. Oh, education. Um, we live in a generation now where having a degree doesn't matter. You can still make a lot of money being a good entrepreneur. There's some people, they only finish high school. They only finish high school and, and they, they out here making money. You know, they, 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 they built into a craft and they, they, they started their own business Whether they're doing, uh, whether they're a beautician, doing makeup, content creation, somehow did a, uh, picked up a trade. You know, went to trading school, something like that. So I truly don't care about your degree of education. So that's that's an indie for me. That that's an indie to me. This are there are some inquisitive people out there that haven't finished school. Religion. I'm not a judgmental person. You know, I'm a person. I'm a person that believe in God, but I'm not one of the people that like judge people straight and be like, hey, you need to be this religion. You're wrong. I'm not one of those. So religion doesn't matter to me. Um, smoke, no. A woman cannot smoke that's unattractive to me. Can't do it. Can't do it. And I'm talking about cigarettes. If, if she get high, I don't agree with I don't agree with getting high. I don't smoke. But if she get high, that's none of my business. I really don't care. Um, but it's a no for me, dog. It's it's a no for me. I, I can't do smoking though. You know, all in all, to be honest, I'll prefer a woman that don't that don't get high because you waste a lot of money buying buying weed and stuff. And and I will I will I will want us to be spending money on like building on something whether it's building towards a, a, a place together or, or doing stocks together investing in crypto together um building a business together if that's what we end up doing um getting a car together something you know something like that instead of you'll be surprised how much money people actually waste on buying weed and stuff you would truly be surprised like people be surprised when they cut when they accumulate all the money that they wasted on weed and stuff in a year they'd be surprised some money they actually spent on it um drinks I don't care if a woman drink. As long as she drink with moderation, I don't care. As long as she's not a sloppy drunk, where it's like she's an alcoholic, then I don't care about drinking. Uh, exclude married. Yeah, I can't. I can't date a woman that's married. That, that, that's 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 a exclude married. I'm pretty sure they talking about excluding married women. So yes, exclude married women. Um, exclude obese. Yes, I. I have no issue against uh uh see but they definition of obese is different because me i can handle i can handle some meat on a woman okay when i think of obese i'm thinking like the the the, the people that be on tv with the 1000 pound life type is i be thinking about those people 500 pound 1000 pound i be thinking about those people when i think of obese they may be talking about like statistically the average obesity thing like they like obesity is like if a woman's like 200 pounds and she a certain like she like five four or some crap they would consider that obese don't matter how thick she is don't matter how, where it doesn't matter where the meat is positioned on her body they would consider that obese so i'm just gonna say exclude obese but i like my thick women i know they probably going based off the taste but i like my thick women or who knows maybe i can say no maybe i'll just say no because i know i know they're going with the statistic i know they're going with that 7.8 when it comes to my standards. That's not a bad. That's not bad. 7%. That's the tell me too. That's 13,128,197 women 
that I can date out of that out of that statistic range I did out of one million six hundred and wait one million one hundred sixty eight million three hundred ten thousand two hundred sixteen. That's crazy. People make probabilities sound way worse than what it actually is when it comes to online. And I'm pretty sure y'all seen it before in the in the in the dating as atmosphere on YouTube when it comes to like the red pill discussions, blue pill discussions, whatever you want to call it, whatever fucking pill, the dating world discussions on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you hear it when they be like, oh, that's the one that's the top one percent men and all the type of stuff. Like when you taking a giant number like 168 million women in the United States, 168 million, 168 million women in the United States, and someone say, oh, you only meet 1% of that, and the 1% is literally 2.6 million women, 2.6 million women. That's still a lot of, that's a lot of women. And wrong, had y'all in the first half, new day, reason why these statistics doesn't matter is because there are variables when it comes to dating what i mean by that is like attraction these statistics don't have anything dealing with attraction levels but height and then maybe you know race if you care for you know race all type stuff but the there's no attraction really on the statistics list so even if someone meets your standards right here it doesn't matter because if the person don't look good to you, the probabilities of the percentile of how many people they say you can date drops tremendously because most people on this list may not look attractive to you or their personality not good to you or you just don't have good chemistry when it comes to having the same hobbies and stuff. So even though this thing right here may say I have 13 million women that meets my standards, more than half of them probably does not meet my standards when it comes to personality, attraction, um, chemistry, when it comes to what hobbies we share and stuff, so on and so forth, that these numbers dwindle tremendously. So yeah, when a woman is at 1% or below, it's even harder for her because most women don't see average guys. That's just the, 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 the reality of things most women looks above their standards whether they want to be realistic or not got like guys guys are realistic if a guy know that they're ugly or average they know they're ugly and average guys are very realistic about their looks a guy may be like uh i know i'm a five so the guy is willing to date a woman that looks like a five or above because they know they are five women on the other hand a woman can look like a one or a two but she's still going to be looking to try to date a guy that look like a seven and up that's just how women are. So that makes it even worse for women trying to find the right guy because the guy that probably meets their standard doesn't meet, the, meet their attraction level or personality level or, 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 or chemistry level. And the dissertations online, women will count out guys over the littlest of things. A woman may like a guy the moment she sees he ain't tall enough, she's not dating him. The woman may like a guy, but the moment she sees like he's into like video games or anime, she's not dating him. The woman may be interested in the guy, but the moment she sees his nails not done at that moment, she's not dating him. And so on and so forth. Women will count a guy out over the littlest of details to not date them. So the point of the video is is standards superficial? Yes. Yes, standards are superficial because at the end of the day, no matter what standards you have over here, you cannot control who you fall in love with. I think we all can vouch and agree that there's someone we dated in the past that we 100% don't know why we fell for them. People done came up to you and said, I don't know how you feel for that person. And then you sit there in your head too and be like, I don't know how I feel for that person either. But at the time being, when you first ran into that person, that person made your heart skip a beat. You just fell in love with that person. So we all can agree, we don't really control who we fall in love with. Things just happen. And it is such thing as proxy attraction as well, where if you go to school with someone or you go to work with someone and you see them almost on an everyday basis, you tend to gain attraction for that person because you see them in your everyday, regular, regular life in your proximity compared to 
someone that's you know out of the state or somewhere around uh far from you or someone you just know on social media and it's been proven that people that are in your proxy have higher attraction levels and have a tighter commitment levels when it comes to dating compared to people that try to date somebody on social media that doesn't live near them and stuff actually women they tend to only look at guys that are above average but when they go to work or go to school with a guy they they re, they basically stop being delusional as they start paying attention to guys that are average and is willing to date them so average guys actually start becoming attractive to them and they're willing to date that guy because a proxy of them seeing them every day they get more realistic standards when it comes to looks instead of being superficial my point is though standards are irrelevant because chemistry is a real thing when you fall for somebody it tends to be because y'all have great chemistry when it comes to y'all into the same hobbies y'all have the same personality um attraction levels you you think someone look cute to you and stuff and you just fall for them and sometimes it only have to be like oh y'all have the same stuff in common that person just meshed perfectly well for you you know to the point that you start ignoring your standards you you may not you may not care about how tall they are you may not care about how, how old they are you may not care about what religion or race they is and stuff because at that moment Yo, you got some sweet emotions towards that person. Yo, you feel in love towards that person. You, you, you really falling for the person. You don't know why, but your heart is really resonating with this person that you just fall for. Them. And yeah, do we need to be accountable for some people you do fall for because they wasn't a good match for you? Yes. But what I'm saying is, even though you have standards, you still end up falling for someone that would say, quote unquote, not the right person because you don't have any control. You don't really have any control on who you fall for. So yeah you can try to throw logic in here like yeah you should date someone at this standard it's safer for you but at the end of the day even if this person meets your standards if your heart don't skip a beat for say a person that meets your standards then it's still not going to work so our standards superficial yes because we don't know who we fall for so instead of having standards you should just stop expecting standards and expectations on people Instead of expecting this person to act this way and have this much, instead of you looking for something from someone, trying to take, take, take from them, how about you just date someone that you have great chemistry with and ignore standards, just see, do you and that person mesh well? And of course, yeah, of course, still pay attention to red flags and stuff. Duh, you know, don't date no psychopath. But chemistry does matter and that's the only thing that does matter companionship is all that matters date someone that you're happy to spend time with y'all work as a team y'all care for each other etc etc that's what a relationship is supposed to be stop putting people in boxes and saying oh me and the first had great chemistry but eh, they don't meet my standards i'm not gonna date them now you just missed out on happiness because this person meets your standards and you rent someone that do meet your standards and they don't do they do like the bare minimum for you when it comes to caring for you, loving for you in a relationship. So standards are very superficial. And when you set standards, you kind of ruin yourself from falling, falling for the perfect person for you because you try to set standards on what you think will be the perfect partner for you. No one knows who the perfect partner for them. The only thing we can do is live life and the people we run into, if the chemistry is there and our hearts skip a beat and we start getting them sweet emotions towards that person, then give that person a shot if it works out it works out if it don't it don't but of course don't do nothing brash don't be over here doing some strong commitment with that person if y'all wasn't like you know there when it comes to spending time together and stuff to be sure that this is the right person for you You know of course still have some common sense when it comes to dating but adding standards it, it, it's just rubbish it's just rubbish it come off as superficial and stuck up you can't judge people based on how much they got or how much how, what's their height and all that type of stuff. That's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous, okay? And like I said, we all can validate. We fell, for, fell in love with somebody we never thought we were going to fall in love with in the past before. And it just happened. They didn't, meet their, they didn't meet your standards at all and you end up falling for them. And whether the relationship worked out or not is here, here not here or there. You know, communication stuff. Stuff happens in a relationship. But you end up falling for someone that you didn't think you would fall for but you end up falling for and some people end up 
having a long-term relationship with that person end up, end up being great and they still together and some people it didn't work out it was a good experience you keep it moving but that's just a good example of standards don't matter because at the end of the day standards go out the window once that chemistry start hitting standards just go out the window even if the, it don't matter if the person got a kid it don't matter if the person how much money the person got it don't matter how much height they what they height is it don't matter what the ethnicity is if the chemistry there most of us not denying our heart when it comes to us having some type of feeling for somebody we're just not the main point here is standards are superficial we can't control who we fall for and trying to put your love uh, motion uh, motion trying to put love and emotion into a logical box don't go hand in hand love is emotion statistics is logic right Trying to put feelings inside a logical box just don't go hand in hand because it's feelings. Feelings don't go off of logic. So trying to put your feelings in a logical box just doesn't work out. It just doesn't work out. It just doesn't work out. So instead of being stuck up and saying, oh, I'm not falling for a man that don't make this amount of money. Oh, I'm not dating a man that's this short. Or, oh, I'm not dating a guy that's this young. Um... Or, or saying for for men, oh, I'm not dating a woman that's this tall. I'm not dating a woman that 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 um is this age. You know, instead of or I'm not dating a woman that has a kid and all this stuff. Instead of trying to put your emotions into a logical box, let your emotions be your emotions. Let you fall for who you fall for, and then again, still have common sense. You know, don't be over here falling for someone that clearly is like. A manipulator you know toxic some crap but like you know if you do fall feeling for someone like that then you need to control your emotions you know have some self-discipline in your emotions and be like okay i need to control my emotions here because i know it's not good for me you know personally my health my well-being but when it comes to standards man instead of actually looking at it as oh this person need to do this much to make me happy just build yourself Okay, stop looking for a partner that makes them a certain amount of money. Make your own money, okay? Make your own damn money. And then, when you find a partner, you don't need to worry about if they got money because you got your own money, okay? And then when you date that person, y'all can grind and build money together. It's a partnership. Y'all can build money together. If that person don't got no money, y'all start working together. Start teaching that person how to make money. Teach them some conservative traits invest in stocks and stuff start teaching that person if it's that important to you it's teamwork at that moment okay y'all in partnership teach them how to make some money okay and then still take care of yourself you don't need to be taking care of them they were living without you they don't need your income to live with you if y'all still living apart i don't recommend living together if 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 that person don't have the income to help pay with bills if you dating them just date them for them they were living on their own finances without you in their life they're gonna still live on their own finances with you in their life and then you you live on your own finances before you got with them continue living on your own finances when you with them stop expecting them to pay for you now because y'all in a, in, a, in a relationship that that makes no sense that makes no sense okay we gotta drop these double standards we gotta start, drop these standards in general okay now me personally i'm a guy i love paying for dates and stuff because that's just me but if my woman expected me to do it just because I'm a man, th that that right there would be a turn off me. That right there makes me want to not do it. And that's how most men are. Most men are okay paying on first date. It's the expectation of women expecting it to happen. You get what I'm saying? Arab, I think we all can relate to we was going to do something, but then the moment someone told us to do it, it rubbed us the wrong way and we just like, I don't even want to do it no more. I was going to do it already, but now the person expecting me to do it, I don't even want to do it no more. That's how it feels when you add standards and stuff. So instead of adding standards to the dating life, just be more genuine and, 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 and authentic. Just be a genuine person. Just go with the flow. Enjoy life. Enjoy that experience and stop putting stipulations and expectations on it. it, it it's really dumb. It's really dumb. Saying, saying a guy got to be a certain height, they can't control the genetics, sound real dumb. And before someone try to say something wild, oh, you must be short. No, I'm six feet. I'm six, six, one. I meet the standards that women be looking for when it comes to height, okay? I literally have women that likes me just because of my height. They think I'm attractive because of my height. Like, but it's dumb. It's dumb. I got plenty of friends that are amazing guys, and they're not six feet. Like, 
it, it, it's not that big of a deal, okay? Age. There's plenty of women saying I date older guys because they mature. Maturity has nothing to do with age, okay? Nothing, nothing to do with age. There are plenty of older people out here that act immature, and there's a lot of young guys out here that act mature for their age. I grew up with women calling me mature at my age. I got a lot of older women that literally wanted to date me or dated me because I was mature for my age. And I, I'm, I'm a young guy. I'm, I'm 25 right now, but when these older women coming at me, I was like 21 while they was older than me. So like, maturity had nothing to do with age. So it's trying to date someone because of their quote unquote age, dumb. Trying to date someone because of their height, dumb. It's trying to date someone over their income, dumb okay unless y'all trying to live together and y'all already made that commitment to each other then cool but if you don't know that nigga from a lick of paint or that woman from a lick of paint why are you trying to gauge them off their income when you don't even know their situation and we all go through life in our own pace and our own journey it, it, it's stupid it's stupid unless y'all in a long-term relationship already y'all been dating for like four five years and you like okay my partner not moving nowhere I'm trying to live together. I'm trying to get married and stuff, and I can't do nothing because my man, my partner not coming up in, the, in, in together in this relationship. Then cool, yes, you can bring up income because then at that moment, what is your partner doing? Y'all probably growing together, not being stagnant. At that moment, it makes sense. But trying to date someone based off their income before you even got in a relationship with them, you judging that person off their income, is wild. It's crazy. But all in all, drop these superficial standards when it comes to height, age money I drop these superficial standards you're gonna ruin yourself on finding a good partner because you setting these standards for yourself you really are you, you're really ruining your dating your dating pool date whoever you end up getting that connection with that makes you happy and and, and go go from there go from there don't be one of the people like oh i only went for this guy because he make this much and he this tall and he looked like this and all that type of stuff now the person ain't treating you good treating you like crap and stuff because you went for your standards instead of your actual chemistry and bond with that person. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Until next time, stay up.